The heading is expanding and factorizing. What are we looking at here? Now, something I always love to tell my year seven, it's like, whoa, first time we've had like a mathematics class, is that mathematicians work hard, but we only ever work hard so we can be lazy. Like we want to do the minimum amount of work that we possibly can. We want to be as efficient as possible, and that's what this is about. Like extending factorizing is work, but the reason it's work is so we can make things easier. Let me show you. Here are a couple of examples. We call these expressions. There's no equal sign, so that's why it's not an equation. You ever notice that? Equation, equal signs, right? So I want to be able to write these in a simple way. Now I notice one, two, three, four, four terms. Every single one is a multiple of five. Do you, you notice that? Okay. Yes. Now this is kind of a pain, right? Like if you go to go to order something at like you know like Marcus KFC, whatever, yeah. and you're ordering like a big group, you're like, okay, I want 20 of this and 20 of this and 20 of this. And 20. What a pain. Just say, I'm gonna give you a list. Give me 20 of all of them. Okay? Now this is the same thing that's happening here. Every single one has a five in common. I don't need to write those five so many times. I just need to write them once. And then if I put brackets in place, like this is the pinnacle of mathematical laziness really. It's just saying, do that, do everything in there. Don't bother writing it many different times. Okay? So we're going to factor out five from each of the terms. You don't need to say it so many times. When you take the five out of the first term, what do you get left with? X. It's just the X, right? I'm dividing, right? I'm dividing. 35, it's not as neat, but if you divide that by five, you get left with seven. Seven. seven, right? And I can keep going all the way through, right? I can go, well, that'll be a minus Y squared, don't forget the sign. And then on the end, that looks like 2Y to me. Now, admittedly, this is a bit of a contrived example. The benefit is not that huge because we're kind of practicing the skill itself before we see the implications of it. But that's all it means, right? Five times all of that. Okay? That's a coefficient that is the factorized, factorized thing out. Right? You can do pro numerals as well. Have a look. 6t to the 5 minus 14t cubed plus t squared. I'm looking for a factor. What do I see in common between every one of the three terms? I have a t. Okay, I have a t. I can do better than t though, can't I? In fact, there's oh, five t's here, t there's three there, and there's two there. Yeah, so I can take out two of them, right? So I'm going to write t squared out the front. So this is going to call on some of that index logic, and this is a bit tricky. Mm -hmm. We're doing a couple of skills at once. This is really, don't write this bit, but this is really shorthand as well. It's six. T, 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 right? Five of them. So if I'm taking two out, how many are left? Three. Three of them, yeah. Six T cubed. This is why the index law of like, oh, subtract the powers and all that. That's why it works, is because it's just shorthand for this. Um, there are three of them here, so when you take out two of them, you're left with just the one of them. Don't forget the minus 14 hangs on for the right, though, because I haven't done anything to factorize that out. And then, of course, lastly, what's left? Yeah. Okay, now careful, we're dividing, not plus subtracting, plus. right? So when you divide this by t squared, it's a 1. Okay? So if we were subtracting, it would come out to 0, but we are not subtracting. We're factorizing, we're dividing. Okay, so that's all there is to factorizing. We'll have a look at the exercise in a minute, okay? But these kind of come as, um, they're two sides of the same coin. That happens all the time in maths, right? You get the same idea from two different angles, because you know what? Factorizing's not always the greatest thing. Um, we said it's a great shortcut. It's great to be lazy. But it can lead you to problems. Have a look at this expression here. Okay. Now, I know, just by looking at these, right? Do you remember a couple of lessons ago we looked at collecting like terms? Do you remember that? Yeah. Now I have some like terms in here. Do you see them? Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> There's the x's, right? I've got one there, oh, x and I've got one there. Okay. Okay. So these are like terms. I should be able to collect them and make this all simpler. But I kind of can't right now, because they're sort of locked in the brackets. They've been factorized, and now I can't get at them. Right? So what I want to do is I want to open stuff back up. I want to, and we call this expanding, right? I want to get rid of all the brackets, open everything out, and then mix it all together, collect my terms, and I should get something simpler at the end. So, remembering what we introduced brackets for, right? It's five times all that, or it's t squared times all that. I'm just going to do the same thing here, right? New color. This one means four times both of those guys, yeah? And this one means five. 
times both of those values. So now I'm going to get rid of my brackets in one step. Watch. 4 times x squared, 4x squared. 4 times minus x, don't forget the sign, minus 4x. Okay, so that guy's been factorized. And you can see, by the way, before I go any further, had I seen those two terms, like as one of these questions, I would have seen, oh yeah, I can factorize that. I can take the 4 out. In fact, I can do more. What else could I take out? I could take it next as well, if, if I wanted to. Okay? Um, I've expanded the first pair of brackets. Now I'll do the second pair. 5 times x. 5 x. And 5 times 1. OK, so now you can see that collecting like terms that I was after before, it's really easy. Like They're literally right next to each other. Okay? So these guys, minus 4x plus 5x. How many x's are you left with? Just one of them, right? Just one. So this is what I end up with. Okay. So we're not expanding just because, you know, just for the lols, because I can, right? <laughs> the whole point is that if I expand, sometimes I can lead to something simpler. Right? I can get at something which is going to become nicer and easier to write. I think we all agree. This is much better than this. Like it takes half the time to write. 